Welcome. So, in this uh, set of slides, I want to talk about the characteristics of good writing. So, we have been talking about uh, um, writing good technical stuff and reading good technical stuff. So, which means that when you are reading, you should be able to identify what is good about a given material that you are reading or when you are reading, you should be able to identify what is not good about the material that you are reading. So, that when you write, uh, you will not make the same mistakes. So, I have thought uh, um, to some extent about this problem, how to identify what is uh, uh, good in a technical uh, document and I have come to this conclusion. So, there are three characteristics of uh, good writing. The first one is of course, content. Uh, remember, technical communication happens because you are trying to communicate something. So, it should have the content to communicate. Without content, uh, there cannot be any good technical writing. But even when you have the same content, the next thing that matters is the clarity with which you communicate. Uh, and at this point, I always like to tell the story about uh, Feynman and Schwinger. Both are Nobel laureates, uh, both worked in the same area. In fact, they shared the Nobel Prize uh, with uh, um, another scientist from Japan for their work. And so, in terms of content, the work that Feynman did and Schwinger did is identical, which was later shown by Freeman Dyson to be so, that even though they look very different, they are the same. But uh, Feynman's way of uh, thinking about the problems have permeated all of physics, whereas uh, Schwinger's is not uh, that popular. One of the reasons is that even though Schwinger did the same thing, when he communicated, he did not communicate with uh, as much clarity as uh, Feynman did. So, the joke is that uh, uh, everybody writes papers to let others know that things can be done and Schwinger writes papers to let others know that only he can do things. So, if you make your communication very difficult for people to follow, if you make it uh, not so clear for people to understand, then even though you have content, uh, you lose out in terms of communicating it to people because clarity is missing. Of course, the third one is the style and voice in which you communicate. So, this is a little bit subjective and it is also very hard to define as to what it is. So, for that we are going to take a couple of examples, we are going to read them very carefully and identify the stylistic viewpoints and the, the voice that is used by these authors to communicate whatever it is that they are communicating. So, that we will do as a small uh, tutorial, uh, but when you are trying to evaluate uh, some technical writing and this will happen uh, in, the, in the tutorial session. So, when we have a passage, you have to read and then you have to say whether it is good writing or not. The first comment should be about content, the second comment should be about clarity and then it could be subjective comments about the style and voice. So, same style, same voice might work for somebody, might not work for somebody else. Uh, but there is no ambiguity in content and clarity. Okay. Okay, thank you.